Hello again, people of the world. It's your buddy Butch. Creative Ideas from the Butch Bunker. Today we are going to uh, discuss cowbells. Here's your classic cowbell from uh, Latin America. This is the one you normally see. Uh, I have some other cowbells here. There's these are beautiful Engelhart set. And then uh, another one that I have here, uh, just to show you from Africa, looks like a uh, muffler. Uh, I have uh, probably about 60 or 70 other cowbells uh, that I have in my collection as a drummer percussionist. You should always be on the lookout for a unique cowbell. They uh, add quite a flavor and uh, they can be used in all styles of music. Today I want to talk about a, a, a specific technique that I happened upon, which I know has been going on forever, but uh, during a session one time I was asked to play an intricate pattern and sticks were too loud, so I started playing with my fingers. So I found that the, my hand that holds the cowbell in a handheld cowbell situation, my index and middle fingers came into play and I could start doing these kind of patterns on the bottom, the back half. So that happened there. Then one day I realized, well, the fingers weren't cutting it in a band situation. So I took off, I took my wedding ring, which I wear around my neck, and I put it on my index finger on the back hand and I could, in, uh, I could articulate some more uh, uh, intricate patterns. Now uh, if you don't have a wedding ring I also found that uh, these uh, wonderful uh, memory locks that come uh, on pretty much all cymbal stands, snare stands now. Uh, these are, this is a DW one. It fits perfectly around my index finger uh, or my middle finger. Sometimes I'll use that one and it's a little heavier so I get a bigger, kind of a bigger sound. So that is also available. Um, now, cowbell, you don't have a cowbell. Now we're going to the uh, bizarre place of ceramic bowl. Uh, instead of, uh, I, ca I have a whole set of these and I carry them with me on certain sessions when they want exotic percussion because sometimes, and it's happened to me before, in lieu of a cowbell, the ceramic bowl has a sound or a texture that might replace or fit better in a piece of music. And the same technique can apply. ceramic bowl. Now on the more exotic side I have this uh, beautiful tortoise shell that I got in Chicago when I was on tour with Lowen and Navarro many many years ago. I got it in a curio shop. Uh, it's from a tribe in Belize and uh, they use these in their ceremonies. They strap on 10 or 15 of them and make little orchestras out of them. And it is, this is, I use the same technique on the cowbell or on the ceramic bowl, I can use it on the tortoise shell.
you go. Uh, some uh, some little crazy ideas with uh, some cowbells, a little different technique today. Uh, I want to encourage you to experiment, make mistakes like I did there, a couple mistakes. Uh, you learn from that. That's how you uh, go farther, take something a little farther the next time and maybe learn to incorporate those mistakes. Those are very important for us to make mistakes. Stay safe out there, uh, experiment, pick up something new, apply it differently. Uh, remember, uh, wash your hands, gloves, masks, social distancing, and be positive.